Hey guys, Jimbo Abbott here, and today what I have for you is a tutorial on how to install any single mod in Minecraft for version 1.8.1 uh, uh, for version 1.7.10, or pretty much any single version in Minecraft. So to start it off, guys, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and run Minecraft.ex. After you're done running that, what you want to do is create a new profile. I'm going to go ahead and call it 1.8. Uh, pretty much I'd recommend to call it the name of the version that you're going to be using. And then if you are doing it that way, you want to go ahead and pretty much use the correct version. After you're done with those uh, two things there, what you want to do is pretty much go ahead and save your profile. And then you want to go ahead and click on your pretty much new profile that you created. And you go ahead and play that. Uh, the reason you're pretty much doing this is just so Forge could go ahead and figure out the correct one that you want to use for the correct version. After you're done loading, what you want to do is pretty much close it. Uh, after that, what you want to do is go ahead and go to this site right over here. And what you want to do is go on and go on the version that you pretty much want. Uh, click on that, for example, uh, 1.5, and then you pretty much want to download either the recommended, which is more safe, or the latest. If you are trying to download pretty much the uh, like the old uh, old or uh, if you want to download the old one, then you can go ahead and use the latest settings uh, because it doesn't really matter; they're already updated fully. But if you're trying to download, say, like the newest version, uh, then you probably want to go ahead and use uh, pretty much the latest settings if you're trying to do that. Uh, after you go ahead and click on Installer Win for either, uh, what you should go up, is, you should pretty much go onto this page right over here. It may say Reload, uh, and if that's the case, what you want to do is you pretty much just want to go back and forth uh, on like different. Uh, different pretty much sides of it either like uh, the download the latest just back and forth between there until it finally says something up here like uh, This ad can be skipped in like uh, six seconds and then pretty much you can go on and press skip um, And then uh, it also may say like this is harmful your computer this site. Don't worry. It's not harmful. It's all good uh, It's not a virus. It won't hack your computer or anything like that uh, then after what you want to do is press skip uh, And then pretty much what I'll do is just go ahead and grab this and put it right over here uh, and we'll go ahead and minimize that after you have this wherever here What you want to do is go ahead and load it uh, something should pop out like this what you want to do is press yes uh, Then what you want to do is something should come out like this uh, You can go ahead and check or you can just look here and it should be similar to something like this uh, Of course because this is my computer name or whatever uh, It should be different for you depending on what your computer name is of course uh, And then what you want to do is press ok uh, it should do something like this, uh, and it should say successfully install a client a profile for Forge. Uh, it should say grab two required libraries. It says zero for me because I actually downloaded Forge before, uh, but I pretty much deleted it, so it's just it's just saying that uh, for me. Uh, then after that, press OK. Then what you want to do is go to run, uh, search up run. After you go on run, what you want to do is type in percent app data percent, press OK. Uh, then what you want to do is go to your dot minecraft go to versions uh, and check if forge is here It may also show on your computer something like forge may have not installed incorrectly or something like that uh, Just to check that install correctly go into your versions like I did here It should be like it should like show this over here And if it has then what you can go ahead and do is just say yes install correctly But pretty much if it didn't show up here then install it again uh, And then what you pretty much want to do is is you can go ahead and delete this or just leave it there. It doesn't really matter uh, Then what you want to do is open up Minecraft and then you should see something called forge which has your forge over there uh, And then pretty much for the one dot you can go ahead and delete that and yeah, you pretty much have forge now uh, And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video guys Be sure to hit that like button and if you really enjoyed this video guys make sure to hit the subscribe button Make sure to reply to Jim Wallman Craft Network for 70% of the share guys, but that's it guys. This is me Jim Eleven, and I'll see you guys later. Bye